game is actually based on a story that is uh, totally separate from the movie plot. It was written by Christos Gage. He's the uh, the guy that I think most re one of the most recent ones he did was Avengers Initiative. All right. So that was actually really freeing for us to be able to just make the game and not worry about tying into the movie. Yeah, uh, that's why a lot of those games are really suffering. Right? They're too tied to the plot, and you know, they try to. Yeah. But, yeah. So essentially, uh, Caps come to this remote location in uh, the mountains of uh, Bavaria, where there's this old castle. And what's happened is it's, it's a huge castle base. compound. Come in. Over. Hydras come in, they've entrenched themselves, and they're producing weapons of war that are highly advanced. Listen, their weapons are far more advanced than we realize. <laughs> we have to shut this down now. So he has to shut this down now. <laughs> and the idea is here, at this point of the game, the, the, the demo is, um, you're trying to shut down this last AA cannon so that the invaders can come and join you. It takes a second for him to put a plan together. Proceed with the drop. Repeat, do not avoid. You sure? That's affirmative. Keep him flying. Captain America out. So our flight system is pretty grounded. It, uh, it's got 360 degrees. You can strike out. In, all, in any direction you like, just by pushing the stick and attacking in that direction with a strike. Grabs are also a big part of our system. You can use them offensively, but if you grab an incoming attack, you counter. Of course, he also has a shield for defense. and avoid damage is by using Cap's mobility, so he can move around the, uh, the environment pretty quickly. Which I was that acrobatic. Yeah. So when ranged enemies become part of the equation, you get these uh, flashes around the edge of the screen that let you know someone's about to shoot. So even if they're off screen, hit block, and he'll actually deflect the shot right back at the guy. system is actually based on rhythm. And I'll show you a little bit of that outside here. So Cap's supposed to be the peak of human biology. He's a perfect gymnast. So we decided we wanted to make a platforming system that um, was a little bit more lenient. We didn't want you just plummeting to your death because you had bad reflexes. It just didn't seem right for Cap. So the rhythm system on the, on the platforming is if you tap the mobility button just as you interact with an object, you flow freely into the next object. If you don't, you end up with something that feels like this. This is, if you mash, it feels like this. It's kind of pedestrian, kind of normal. Yeah. But if you get that timing right and you start feeling the rhythm of the platforming, you start to move around a lot more like Cap. Good jump. This is an example of one of the simpler puzzles we have. It's pretty straightforward. You got a gap and you need to find a way to cross it. So I'm just gonna drop down here and deal with these guys first. actually uh, go into an aim shield mode, which has kind of a sticky assisted targeting. Oh, come on back shield. So this would be a time to note that we are still in a pre-alpha stage. <laughs> so there's still a few bucks in there. We got time. Yeah, we got lots of time. We're not releasing until uh, July 2011. Okay, you, got, you got plenty of time. What's that? There is certain enemies, I can't actually talk about what they are, but they can 
take it away from you. Yeah. You gotta recover it. So in a situation like this, the rhythm and the platforming is really important. It's actually an original story written by Christos Gage, so we're not shackled to the, uh, to the plot of the movie. Alright, so what I'll do here is there's uh, quite a bit of stuff until we get to that cannon again, so I'm just going to hop ahead a little. Alright. Actually launch it out and ricochet it around. It's great for crowd control. You can take three of those guys out for just a little bit, which gives me time to deal with other enemies. That way you don't get ganged up on. Oh, it's too late. That's better. See, these guys have got shields on their arm. All right. And you notice in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there, you got a focus meter. And what you can do with the focus meter, let me just take care of some of these guys first. You use focus to do things like that. Normally these guys are a little uh, uh, more pain to deal with. They throw up their uh, shields and block and strike. You can use grab in that case to manipulate them into a stun, and then use strike to drop them to the ground. Yeah, he's, 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 he's
Yeah, he's pretty goofy remember. looking in the comics. We redesigned him for World War II. All right. We built him out of tank parts and stuff like that. 